Well, oh my goodness, y'all, that was a disaster. Hello, everybody, people of the universe. How is it going tonight? Um, I just started the stream. I know a couple of you guys made it in in like the four seconds it was live, but I forgot to plug something in and it crashed immediately. So no worries. We're back. We're ready to go. How's it going, Addison and Star? You guys were here in the last one nice and early. Thank you for that. I'm back now, though. Everything should be good to go. Hi, Mom and Jen. How are you guys? Howdy, Jason. How you doing? Good to see everybody. So I am here tonight doing somewhat of a chill stream. Um, we're going to be doing a little 420 session together. Um, I'm also going to take off my glasses because I don't want to look at that glare this whole time that I'm doing this. Um, yeah, a little bit of 420 session. And then we've also got some diamond painting to do yes um i haven't done any since the last time that we worked on this together so we're gonna try to make some headway uh but first let's get into the 420 portion because that's what i that's what i'm really here for y'all hello hello everybody who's just making it in i apologize again about the last failed stream i see we've got nova lynn in chat hello jello samantha stewart chris how are you guys doing good to see everybody good to see especially my members like star chris we got a lot of members in here right now hello jello nova lynn like i said addison y'all are the best samantha of course all right well welcome welcome you guys so today I did something a little extra special since the last few times I didn't do it and I promised you guys I would. I cleaned out this piece so we could shake her up and see her in her full glory. Um, I may, I'll use the other camera too if this one doesn't do her justice. Look at that, dude. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is my glycerin. She matches. Actually, she matches pretty well. We're like one or two shades off for my hair. Um, yeah, this is a glycerin piece, so you can actually put this in your freezer and freeze it. Hold on, I'll show you guys on the, on the phone. Actually, I feel like this is worse quality somehow, but, yeah, she's a beaut. She's 100% clean today, so I've got that going for me, which is nice. Um, however, the last few days have not been kind to your girl. Um, not at all. I've got some stories to tell you while I am loading this up, y'all. Also, apologies, since we are doing the diamond painting, I have you guys to my left today, so I'm going to be looking to the left, I'll try to look at y'all in the eyes as much as possible. But yeah, I don't know if you guys follow me, or I know most of you guys do follow me, frankly, on my social media, um, but I don't know if you guys have seen my tweets or my stories the last few days, um, but two nights ago... I decided to go out and have a few drinks. It was one of Seth's last nights off in forever. Um, so we were like, let's go. Let's celebrate. Both of us are going to be starting a new job. We're going to be working together again at like a Halloween bartending job. So we're like, let's go spend some time together before we don't have any anymore. Had a few drinks. Anyways, that's not the story that I want to tell. So... For some reason, like, the courage of, like, a thousand suns was raging through my veins that night, and I was convinced that I could climb. There was a lamp, there was a lamp post that Seth tried to climb jokingly, and I was convinced that I could actually climb it genuinely to the very top. Um, and your girl tried. Needless to say, friends, I could not climb that motherfucking pole. I got about a third of the way up, and I tried to do this thing. So I had my feet, like, up on the pole. You know, I, th I think I had shoes on. I yeah, I had shoes on for sure. So I had my feet up on the pole, and I was using my hands like this, like a rope, to fucking, like, catch the other side of the pole. I don't know what the plan was. It, it worked for, like, two hoists up i don't know what else to call it two hoists worked and then on the third one i got a little too confident and swung that shit up there and i lost my grip and your girl fucking plummeted to the ground it's probably only like three or four feet but for the first time in my adult life i had the motherfucking wind knocked out of me and every part of my body has hurt horrifically since then so <laughs> the last few days have been a struggle if you hear me moaning and groaning as we we work on our diamond painting here, now you know why. Um, yeah, and that's why. Oops, I'm sorry. That's why we're doing a little bit of relaxing 
relaxing diamond painting because there's not a whole lot else I can do. I actually spent the whole day on the couch yesterday just icing my body. I fell on my, um, I fell on my, flat on my back, but I must have hit my elbow somehow because that shit, like, jammed and, um, and also I think I broke my tailbone. <laughs> so, on that note, let's pack this bad boy. Hold on, I'm actually gonna... I'll flip this over so you guys can watch me pack. Oh god, the back of this the back of this diamond painting does not look very good, but whatever, it gives us a solid surface. Yeah, this is like this is this is the stoner zone. Stoner zone. So, like I said, on that note, today, YouTube, we've got our medicinal medical marijuans. This is completely legal. Um Provided by the United States government in the state of Florida. And we are gonna smoke away this pain, you guys, because I am not doing well. I'm doing a little bit better today, but I was genuinely worried for a while there. I was like, bro, I, I might die. I was like, I might never walk again. I broke my tailbone. Oh my god, that sounds so painful. I hope you start to feel better soon. Thank you, Julie. I appreciate it. I mean, it's my own damn fault. I should not have been that confident, but that's what a couple drinks will do to you, right? This is why weed is the superior drug, because never in my life has weed made me want to climb, like, super tall objects and potential <laughs> potentially fatally fall. No, there's no way that would have been fatal, but that should have hurt, dude. It really, it really hurt, so. Yeah, smoke the pain away. Thank you, Addison. Let's go. Someone said, how is Scooby? This, this one, let's let's just, let's get this out of the way so I can start numbing the pain. That is my life. I'm just kidding. She's a little too clean. Got a little Scooby snack there. Whew. Yeah, speaks to a good transition, everybody. Thank you, Marijuana, for providing that. Um, Scooby is doing pretty good, actually, today. He's right behind you guys on the bed. Um, he's a little bit ways away, but he's chilling over there. He's having a good time. We got doors and windows open, for the record. Um, but... He is about, how many days out from surgery now? He had surgery on the 14th, so he's about a week out. The bruising has, like, totally come down. He looks so much better. He still has a bit of a lump, which I'm kind of worried about. Um, I do really hope that it doesn't grow back, because that would be, you know, worst case possible fucking scenario. Um, but yeah, no, I guess honestly for now, like I said, I just gotta watch it. He gets his stitches out on the 26th, so we have five days till I bring him back. Um, he's not limping anymore, like occasionally his arm really shakes and stuff. Um, I'll try to get some more pictures and videos of him to update you guys with, but he's he's afraid of my phone. He's afraid of phones and cameras, so I try not to bother him with that shit too much. Um... Yeah, so I will try to get some, though. Maybe when he's asleep so he doesn't see it coming. So he doesn't see it coming. Might just be some fluid or tension. Hopefully. I'm really hoping that's what it is um, instead of just still part of the the tumor. But I guess, like I said, even the, even the vet said all we can do is wait and see. So otherwise he's oh actually there is one thing that's kind of new to his his recovery process i will say he's been i think it's the medicine he's finally done with his pain pills and he's just doing um like antibiotics and i think they're making him so thirsty that he actually ended up peeing in the house for the first time in years last night so i've had to really be careful to make sure he's not like drowning himself in his water because he's going crazy but other than that he's good so yeah, I'm talking about you, buddy. He's, he's looking back at me like, what you saying? Yeah, I'm talking shit, bruh. Talking shit about last night. You made me get up at four in the morning and take you out and clean up the whole fucking house. It's a nightmare. Yeah, the last few days have not been good for me. Got out of got out of bed to take him out at like four in the morning. I was like, my tailbone. All right, anyways, on that note. On that note, we are going to get started on this here. We're going to actually open up our fucking... 
our fucking diamond painting, so we can actually say we did that today. I do want to make some some progress, so for anyone who is new to our diamond painting saga, I probably do, like, a little bit every month. Honestly, we don't work on it that frequently, but anyone that's new here to our diamond painting saga, we have gotten about this far. This is the um, project we're working on. It's two different mobs. It matches the stuff in my living room. Everything in my living room is blue and green, so... At like mint green so I think this is perfect and I'm gonna put it right above um, my dog's bed area they've got this like cute little nook in the corner and then it needs a little bit of sprucing up so we're gonna put this in a frame when it's done however that being said this is taking forever to get through I don't know if you guys can see this um, here's the diamonds this is we've gotten to right here and then everything else is letters and numbers um, and I'm peeling it away a little bit at a time because I don't want, I don't want shit to get, you know, stuck in the sticky parts that aren't ready to be diamond yet. Diamonded yet. So, okay, we've got my tray here. I'm going to put that down. <sighs> Where do you get those? I got this one on Amazon. I'm, that's the only place I've been able to find them. I looked in Michael's. I looked in fucking Walmart. I could not find anywhere but there's a ton on amazon they're really cheap too um all right before we get begin taking one more hit because we got to get in the zone we got to get in the zone baby the stoner zone radar fuentes says my dog puked all over all over mine a few days after surgery at like 2 a.m oh okay that sucks so i guess that is kind of normal i guess unfortunately he, he every time we talk about scooby he looks back he's like what are you saying Timu has some? Oh shit, they're probably like one dollar star. <laughs> I swear to god. This one is for all of you guys. Cheers. I hope you guys are having a good start to your week. I know Mondays suck, but let's get lit. Okay, with that out of the way, we're gonna actually start out. So, the color that I am seeing, um, damn, I keep getting Scooby Stack. The color that I'm seeing the most of right here is the color K. I know that doesn't make any sense, but the color K. So, K is number 14. Everything is, I don't understand why they don't just have, like, 14, or, like, just K. I don't know why it has to be 14 and K. It just pick one or the other, guys. Pick a lane. Um, but we're going to do K. K is 14. I've already got that one opened up. So the way this works is this is your diamond tray for anyone new here. And then this is my baggie. We've already start. We've already done some K. LOL. LOL, YouTube, I'm talking about the color K, not drugs. But I guess it really doesn't matter. This <laughs> this stream is getting demonetized no matter what at this point. Okay, so you do this, and chat taught me to shake it, and everything lines up really nicely. Like, it's very... I don't know, it's very satisfying. Very ASMR. Okay, so then this is kind of like a cheap daughter. This is the one that came with it. I think they always come with it, um... But I think they do sell, like, really fancy ones out there. Out there on the market. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Let's see. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, there we go. So you guys can see what I'm actually doing. Okay, so this is, like, the putty. And you stab the putty. Yep. You just stab it like so. And then you've got a little bit of putty in the tip. And then you stab these bad boys. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta move. Since we're gonna be over here majority of the time. And then you stick it and you lick it. Wait, what number are we? Number, letter, color? K. Yeah, yo. Never thought I would say this, but I'm thinking about getting the diamond craft stuff. Go for it, Stuart. It's honestly, it seems less uh, relaxing. When I'm doing it on stream, then it really is. 
Like, if I'm not on stream, I can just zone into this and fucking fly through this shit for hours. I honestly don't think there's any better form of meditation than, like, doing something repetitive and somewhat meaningless <laughs> with your hands. I guess it's not meaningless. You're creating something. But, yeah, this is definitely, like... Painting, drawing, these fucking- honestly, no, this is even better than painting and drawing in terms of relaxation, because you're just doing the same thing over and over and over, like I said. So, and then if you fuck it up, you get these little tweezers. And actually, it's kind of my favorite part, is to tweeze them back back into the right spot, is honestly a big, a big joy. Today was my first technical day of freshman year, so that's so fun. Hell yeah, Addison, freshman year in high school or in college? Freshman year. I'm assuming college. Most of my, most of my, um, most of my demographic is between, like, I'm pretty sure it's 18 and 24 is the main age. This is why I want to get diamond art so I can relax for a couple hours. Well, Canadian, um, Atony? I've never heard that name before. Okay, hello, Canadian. Hello, hello, Canadia. Um, for the record, I think, and I don't want to discourage you by saying this because it is definitely nice, I think I've cumulatively worked on this one for, like, eight or nine hours now, and we've only gotten this corner done. Which is really, I don't want to say disheartening because I do like, I do like spending the time on it. When I went into this, just like you said, Canadia, my intention was definitely to spend, you know, a lot of time, several hours. I didn't realize this was going to take me, we're like, okay, granted, I haven't worked on it that many times. Like I said, nine hours, probably cumulative, but I'm months into this bitch. <laughs> We are so far away from done, like, not even close. I need to just, like, blast some of it out while I'm, you know, literally have nothing to do. The problem is I never have nothing to do, so that's why it's... That's why it's fun. That's why I do it on stream. Okay. This little piece here is driving me crazy. There's just a little piece, piece of plastic. I do, okay, I do have to say they come out very pretty in the end. I do love the way they look. I think they look great. Um, but I do have to say I wish they were a little bit shinier. Like, I wish they were closer to, like, actual crystals than... These are more like, like, I don't know, shiny pebbles. I don't know how to put it. They're like these round little plastic pieces. Like, I wish they were a little bit more opaque. Somewhat see-through. More diamond-ish. Do you know? Do you know what I'm saying? A tease. Okay, all right, Atony. I'm. I. I have no idea. I've never heard that before. But hell yeah. Or is that someone I've never heard of? Am I unco uncultured right now? I think I'm uncultured at the moment. Yo, there are so many K's. Endless K's. K's for days, man. They're just so random. And I'm really hoping I don't spend, like, months on this shit for it to, like, literally look like nothing. Because the reason I did this is I got gifted one, which I'll show you in just a second. Someone did one. Uh, my my boyfriend's stepmom did one for me, and she, she gave it to me. Um, and it's very, like, simple and minimalistic. Which, hold on, I'll grab it in just a second here. Oops, I didn't realize you guys couldn't see what I was doing. Um, here, let me show you guys the the simplistic one that was gifted to me. 
Okay, see, to be honest, actually, I think this one is shinier. This one is definitely shinier than the one that I'm working on right now. Yeah, that's got way more glitter, for sure. So, so all this light blue in the back is, like, negative space. It's just paper. It's not diamonds or anything. Yeah, what the fuck? This one's way shinier. That's really annoying. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so I was like, oh, hell yeah, I got this one. And I was like, it'll take me a couple hours. Well, this one, when I ordered this one... I didn't realize that it was, like, every bit of the surface area was 100% the diamonds. Um, so, yeah, this is taking me a lot longer than I, than I anticipated. Also, I approve, I definitely approve of the, the MCR <laughs> lyrics in chat. Thank you, guys. Keeping it going. That's so cute. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, it is really cute. Could be the frame. I don't think it is. I think it's honestly just that the... I don't know. Maybe you're right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking between them. I don't know. I honestly think the jewels are just shinier in that one, unfortunately. But we'll see. We'll get there. All right, make sure you guys can see what I'm doing this time. We'll zoom out a little bit just to make sure you guys got the whole picture, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Oh no, I lost my whole, the whole blob is, it fell out. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the whole like, uh oh. I lost all the putty, fuck. Back. Also, thank you to everyone in chat who's liked up the stream. I really appreciate y'all. Hitting that motherfucking like button. It helps more than you could possibly know. Also, I want to shout out my member goal since we're a little we're a little bit deep into the stream now. Um, right now, we kind of set back the member goal. We lost a lot of members. A lot of gifted um gifted memberships were going crazy last month, and I think a lot of them. Ex I I mean I don't think I know a lot of them expired. So we have dropped down from, we were over 100, which was fucking fantastic. I never thought I'd get there, but we are at um, 44 members right now. Thank you to each and every one of you who is a member. Um, everyone who's a member gets things like specialty badges, emojis. Um, you get access to my Discord, which I think is the coolest thing. I've been really active in there. You guys have been really active in there, which is awesome. It's really cute to always see you guys like wishing each other, you know, good morning and good night and seeing what you guys are doing throughout the day. It's definitely my favorite favorite thing that's come out of the membership uh, thing for sure. Um, so yeah, not only that, but VIPs have some, um, some stickers coming in the mail. So if anyone would like to join the Shan fam, you get all those perks and I will also take a hit in your honor tonight since we're doing a 420 sesh. Oh no, I lost, I lost a K. You can uh you can join you can join us by clicking the link in the description or the join button on the screen. So thank you in advance. I'd love to hit that 50 fucking members again. We're going for it. Motherfucking going for it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that why am I having such a hard time getting a K for this one spot? Every time I try to put a K on this spot. It fails. There we go. Finally got it. Hey, Mrs. Mrs. and Mr. No- Mr. and Mrs. Nolet. Oh my god, that was really hard to say for some reason. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Nolet. There we go. Now it's better. How you doing tonight? Good to see you. One of my faves. As always. Okay, we got that one fixed. Yo, I keep thinking I'm coming to the end of the case here, and we are not even motherfucking girls. On the bright side, my tailbone has not hurt at all since we started the stream, which I was really worried about because <laughs> I have not been able to do anything, y'all. Anything. Like, I went to the gym today and I just ended up leaving, you know, after I did some crunches. But even, like, doing core was making, making my fucking tailbone hurt. So I ended up just fucking leaving. I'm fucking leaving. Except I was absolutely fucking leaving. 
Yeah, it was a bummer. But we're doing okay right now. I think maybe perhaps it's the marijuana. And we do have a Penjamin. I saw someone ask earlier in chat if we're rocking the Penjamin tonight. Um, no, we are not rocking the Penjamin tonight. Um, mainly because we just got a new cartridge for that bad boy, and I don't want to smoke. I don't want to go too hard on her. You know, you got to savor that shit. So the reserves is the flower, and that's that's what we're working with here. So we're going for it. We're going to go for it right now because got to keep the tailbone pain at bay. Hello, Jello says, gosh, I broke my tailbone two years ago and it was awful. Dude, it is really, like, I'm, I don't think I've ever broken it, but I bruised it really bad and or chipped it probably exactly 10 years ago now, and it was excruciating, and I'm really glad that this is not lasting as long, seemingly, as that did. That sucked ass, so. This is, yo, Sam! Let's go! Remember for nine months, dude. That's long enough to create a child, dude. I don't know what's with all the dude, but thank you so much for being a member for so motherfucking long. It's so good to have you. Sam is one of our greatest ever. So this one is to you, Sam. Cheers! Oh. Ouch. I just, like, I inhaled it, and then I swallowed it. I don't know if you've ever done that. Like, gulped? That was not a fun feeling. That was for you, Sam. Sam said, I don't know if you've already mentioned this in a different stream, but did the fishing weight work for stretching your ear? I'm so curious. Thank you for asking. So, okay, I'm going to be completely transparent. A lot of you guys had some concerns about the fishing weight that I was, uh, that never crossed my mind. Uh, a lot of people who were more experienced with stretching their ears than I pointed out that, like, the point of contact with my ear was such a small little, like, thin strip where the, um, the hoop earring was, and I wasn't putting it through, like, a metal tunnel or anything, which I should just order some of those. Um, honestly, I should just order a real fucking ear weight at this point. But I wore it for a little while. I wore it for several hours for a few days. I was worried that the bottom part of my lobe was going to stretch too thin. Like, like that was the concern in the comments. Um, so I didn't wear it that long. And, uh... Unfortunately, after that, nothing really happened. Like, we got a little bit closer, but I still couldn't get the bigger... This size is still one size bigger. I couldn't get this one in, in this year. Um... So yeah, I just gave up, but I'm gonna let nature run its course because they're, I feel like they're at a big enough size where you can't really tell that they're different anyways. Um, so we'll just let it, we'll just let it either, until I can afford some nice ear weights or, you know, or nature does its thing, I guess, and gravity pulls it down. So no, unfortunately it did not, um, did not work. Womp womp. I tried though. I did my best. Oh my god, that hit me me hungry, y'all. Do you ever take a hit of weed and, like, instantly your stomach is like, Rrrr. that just happened. I was not hungry at all before that, and now I'm starving, bruh. I'm saying the word bruh for some reason. I wouldn't have thought of that either about the ear stretching. I'm glad people mentioned it. Yeah, me too. I think I would have eventually figured it out. And granted, I um, it was a little bit sore, like a little bit raw after I took it off the first time. So I think after a few days, I would have like learned my lesson the hard way. But I'm glad, I'm glad I had both the pain of my ear and the people looking out for me to make the decision to stop wearing it. Man, sometimes when you do these, I don't know, I don't think you guys will be able to see, but sometimes when you put down an individual diamond, it gets the, like, goopy around it. Here. You gotta, like, take the extra time to get the goopy off of it. Okay, I think I've almost exhausted all the case in this area. Please, for the love of God, can we finish up? Oh, Jesus, there's a big patch right here. 
There's a huge patch. These are the caves that never end. Okay, I'm about to just forfeit on the case and move on to a new color because I am bored. But we are bored of the motherfucking case. What else we got in here? A couple more up here. And I can't stand it anymore! Every time I think I'm done, I see another one, like, in the midst. In the midst of right where I'm working! I can't escape these motherfucking K's, dude! I want some heckin' pizza, yo! Everyone's talking about pizza in the chat, and I absolutely want some motherfucking pizza! Unfortunately, I do not have pizza. I will be eating leftovers tonight. I said that way more excited than I actually am about the situation. <laughs> way more excited than I actually am about the situation. I would love some pizza or like Chinese food. Mm. Oops, I'm sorry. I keep going off screen. I apologize, y'all. I gotta be more more conscious. I'm just sick and tired of this color. All right, we're going to move on. So, where did I drop? No. Is this K? Here we go. Okay, so luckily the the designers, the designers, the diamond designers thought of everything. This little tray has got a point so you can pour your diamonds in the bag. All right, let's go to a new one. So next up, I see a ton of ends, which I probably shouldn't repeat that phrase. Um, but yes, we've got the letter N. There's quite a few of that color. Um, what the fuck is it? Have I ever opened it? So N is 22. 22, 22. Oh, yeah. Okay. 22! Everyone's just talking about food, yo, dude, I know, and it's making me so jealous because I am, I, I'm not, like, super lit right now, but, like I said, sometimes you just take that one hit and your stomach just goes, and that is 100% what happened. Okay, I was excited to move on, but this straight up looks like the same goddamn color, does it not? To you guys, does this not look like the same fucking color we were just doing? know what we're gonna do about it though we already poured them out so i guess let's get fucking started on the same stupid color i miss asian food so much mostly seafood and i'm allergic to seafood oh that sucks seafood is like my bread and butter yo i <laughs> took a second because i was like does that does that work the comparison to other food Yeah, no, I love seafood, dude. I'm very sorry that you're allergic. I'm allergic to dairy, and I love cheese, so, like, I can kind of sympathize. Well, what's everybody repping? Fast food and pizza lies in the chat. Let's see. We got Crazy Carl's. I don't even know what that is, Addison. Little Caesars. Little Caesars is mid. Mid at best. Papa John's. I also think Papa John's is very mid. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a huge, not a huge connoisseur of the Papa John's. I personally, you know, and this is weird because Domino's, if you're, if you're my age or older, you know Domino's used to be fucking garbage. Like, it used to be, like, wet cardboard with, uh, with, like, um, I almost said pineapple. I don't know why, but it used to be, like, wet cardboard with ketchup on it, straight up. Like, I literally think there was a scandal in, like, the very early 2000s about Domino's actually using ketchup instead of marinara sauce. Um, however, they turned that shit around, boy, because that is probably my favorite of, like, the typical chains. You know, like, the typical chains being Papa John's, Pizza Hut, and um, Domino's. 
those are the three that come to mind when I think national pizza chains. I mean, I guess Little Caesars, I don't know what color this is. I guess Little Caesars is a national chain too, but that shit is so mid. I mean, at the very least, I could say it's five dollars, which fucking slaps. I can't, I can't deny the Little Caesars. I like Pizzaville. Yo, what is Pizzaville? Jet Pizza. Okay, I thought there's a Jet Pizza by where I grew up, but I straight up thought it was like a one-off. I did not realize it was a chain. Uncultured swine over here. I'm from Chicago, so I really like deep dish. I really fuck with a good a good deep dish. Shit slaps. Uh, and Seth absolutely disagrees. He does not think deep dish is good at all. And I have to say, every time we go for deep dish, it's not good. Like, we go somewhere fucking lame. Like, where do we go? We just went to a bar where, like, their thing was deep dish pizza. And it was, like... The thing about deep dish that I think a lot of people misunderstand is it's not supposed to be crust that's just this thick. It's supposed to be crust lining the dish. And then just tons of motherfucking cheese and shit. You know what I mean? And, like, all the toppings. Like, it's basically, like, crust is supposed to be a bowl. It's not supposed to be this big, like, puff pastry it sits on. So, drives me crazy. Drives me crazy when I get pizza like that. Deep dish like that. I have to say, like, uh, is it Uno's? I'm pretty sure it's Uno's is the Chicago deep dish chain. They've actually got some pretty decent pretty decent deep dish. Stuffed crust is usually really good. Yo, we've been going- <laughs> This is making me so damn hungry. Sometimes stuffed crust slaps, other times I feel like it's a total miss and, like, okay, he, I've had some stuffed crust that, frankly, to me, just tastes like, instead of cheese in the middle of the dough, it tastes like there's just more undercooked dough inside the dough. If that makes any sense. And I, I do not fuck with that. That's not good. I do not like undercooked dough. I like my shit crispy. So if I'm not eating deep dish, I really, really like thin crust. Or like Brooklyn style crust. But again, this is like, okay, so not that Seth wants to get pizza very often. But when he does, all he wants is original crust. And I think original crust is like arguably the worst pizza crust it's so goddamn it's just boring bro it's just boy it's like it's like a slice of white bread it's just not exciting you know what i'm saying so like the motherfucking white bread okay all right we're making some head oh shit we're making some headway here this is good well, I mean, barely. I feel like we barely expanded upon where we started today, but we'll we'll just keep going. We'll go as long as we can. Okay, so I'm going to shift the conversation not very far, but just a little bit to Chinese food, because that's honestly, like, what my brain is craving right now. I'm not going to get it. I'm telling myself right now, no Chinese food for you. You're, you're having leftovers. So my leftovers are pretty good, though. I made shrimp scampi last night um, while we're talking about food. Let's... Let's have a little more 420 friendly uh, content, shall we? This is for everyone out here. And all my Shan fam. We got Allie, Addison, uh, Sam, Mr. and Mrs. Nolette, Hello Jello, Let's Go, Star. Thank you to all you guys. This one's for you. If anyone wants to join the Shan fam, the next hit will be in your honor. But this one is for my current Shan fam, because love you all. Nothing's better than a clean bowl. So you actually taste the flour. That shit slaps. Oh, we got started 420 in chat. Fuck yeah, it's good to have you, man. We love your name. Journey said I had shrimp scampi last night too, OMG. Yo, what the hell? Oh, shit, I keep doing that. What the hell? There's some shrimp scampi in the air, bro. Shrimp scampi in the air. Oh, yeah, okay, on the China topic of Chinese food, thank you, Addison, for getting me back on track. There's a Chinese place called East Moon, the greatest thing ever. I've never heard of that. It sounds like it's probably a one-off, um, which I'm jealous because those are always the best. Um, 
But so my craving, I actually had Chinese food like last week, which is, you know, if I had it again tonight, that would be way more frequently than I usually have it probably once every couple months or so. But when I want Chinese food, my craving is always very specific. And I feel like it's very weird and people judge me all the time. So, I mean, I fuck with all Chinese food. Frankly, I fuck with all Asian food, like point blank, period. It's really the best. Um, I think it's probably the best cuisine um, out of all of the cultural cuisines for show, in my opinion. It just tastes the best to me. It's got the best combination of flavors and shit. But... When I want, like, cheap Americanized Chinese food, I always want egg foo young. I don't know if you guys have ever had egg foo young. It's literally, like, an egg patty that they cover in gravy, and they cook shit like vegetables and, uh, you know, pork or whatever, chicken. I, I don't know. Shit slaps so hard. I know it sounds really weird, but the consistency, like, the texture is unmatched. I literally love that shit. Um... What is, what is everyone in chat's go-to, go-to Chinese food order? Yeah, I love egg foo young. I probably usually get pork or beef. Um, chicken is typically my least favorite. Typically my least favorite, but I don't know if you got, if I made this clear. I'm sure I have. I eat everything, y'all. I eat all food. Like, there's... It's so hard to think of something I don't like. Literally so hard. Like, I, I don't know. It's very rare. I think I've walked out of a restaurant one time in my life. This is a, this is an MDE story, actually. This was on the MDE tour. Um, I remember... I don't remember anyone else's reactions to what was going on besides Johnny. But I remember I really want, so when we went out to eat, typically I took the charge on like finding food because a lot of the other guys were just, I don't know, this is so weird to me, but like other people, like certain, a lot of people out there, they just don't, they aren't driven by food like I am. Like they really didn't care what we ate one way or another. It really did not fucking matter. Basically like some, half the group would just wherever we went they would get the same thing whether it was off the kids menu or just like they had the same fucking focus camera just the same predictable order wherever we went which is totally fine there's nothing wrong with that um but because of that and because i was never satisfied i always took the charge on finding food so i forget what state we were in to be honest um but city and state i don't remember but we i took us to the chinatown area of um of whatever fucking city and state we were in. I have no idea to this day. Um, and we sat down and I opened up the menu and there was no, there was, okay, not no because of what I'm about to say next, but there was very few English words on the menu. Um, except the old, and the first half of the first page of the menu, the only English words that at least I saw, and I know Johnny saw them too because we both looked at each other, like, I don't know if this place is for us, um, was the words coagulated pig's blood. So it was a hot pot where I believe the baits of the hot pot was coagulated pig's blood, and that was all we could read on basically the first page of the menu. So I was like, the server hadn't come up to us yet, so I was like, yo, we gotta dip in the most respectful way possible. Like, I have, I think maybe we saw one or two other items on the next few pages of the menu, but it, they were very, like, along the same vein. And I am the type of person who will try anything once, but I was just like, I'm sorry, I can't just straight up try blood. That sounds a little too, like, visceral, or I don't know, just that doesn't sound good at all, man. Um, yeah, so maybe that, that's, like, the only thing I have ever, uh, turned down trying, and like I said, the reason I looked at them, like, I looked at Johnny specifically, because I was like, here, there's no way you're eating here, right, bro, and he, he was like, no, like, we gotta get out of here, I maybe would have been adventurous enough to try, but I knew that the, uh, the rest of the group, there was no way in fucking hell, um, that they were going to be happy with that meal. So I was like, okay, let's dip. The only, yeah, that's the only time I've ever walked out of a restaurant ever. I am always willing to try 
And honestly, had I not been with that group, had I been with like just maybe Seth, even though, you know, I didn't I didn't know him at the time, but just for example, like had I been with someone like Seth, I probably would have tried something, you know, but I was not willing to risk everyone else's uh, stomachs for for my adventureness. I'm up for trying stuff, but I don't think I could do that. I, I same Samantha. I don't know. Like I said, maybe if I had like one drink in me and I was with other adventurous people who wouldn't have had their nights ruined by that type of meal, I would have tried it. But alas, I did not. So to this day, I don't know what coagulated pig's blood tastes like. That sounds like carry, honestly. LOL, I'm scrolling through chat right now amazing my favorite thing to get from the chinese food are dragons wait drag you just literal literal dragons there's usually a dragon roll in sushi restaurants which always slaps you can't go wrong with the dragon roll um but actual dragons fucking hell yeah what else did everyone say i'll i'll, move, I'll go for some positive positive good foods right now drunken noodles oh is i think that's thai food right or or is that chinese food I can't eat Chinese food at all. It makes me really sick no matter what dish I get or where I get it from. Damn, Star, that sucks. I wonder what I wonder if it's like MSG or something that bothers you. Chicken and broccoli. Chicken and broccoli slaps. I usually go with beef and broccoli, Julia. I am just like you and I'm willing to try anything but, but blood, no thanks. You know, and it wasn't even just that it was blood. Like, if it was like, okay, so there's this other thing. Speaking of exotic, um, I forget where this is. Um, one of my exes told me this and was like really into this idea. Oh, here's a patch of, a patch of a bunch of this color. Um, yeah, one of my exes was really into this idea and like, it was an Asian country, I can't remember where, but there was a tradition of, like, street vendors, like, and this is, like, very expensive, and so, like, I think somewhat of a tourist trap, um, but he still wanted to try it. There's, like, certain street vendors where you, they will, it's a super graphic, so if you're triggered by, like, I guess animal abuse, I don't know, you're eating it, so it's a gray area, but they take they take a snake i believe it's like a cobra or something something venomous maybe it's not but i think it is venomous and they basically just snip the head off and then pour the blood into a shot glass and then you take a shot of the venomous snake's blood which i know this sounds crazy but like that doesn't sound horrible to me like i mean it does it sounds terrible but like maybe i would try it it was the coagulated part that really got me um about about this specific uh specific um situation okay wait i'm sorry sorry taking a break from the gross the gross uh food talk we'll go back to this but Courtney says, this is my last live with y'all. I'm deleting YouTube. It was nice meeting you. Why? Courtney, why? We're going to miss you. Please don't leave. I hope everything's okay. If you need to reach out at all, I'm I'm always here. You can definitely, I think, I don't know if you're in the Discord. I can't remember um, if you still are or not, but you can always message me and DM me anywhere. I'm I'm here for you. I don't I don't want you to leave. We love having you. Here, you're one of my favorites, so. But yeah, I would I would be very sad, sad to see you go. So hopefully you're okay. If you need anything, like I said, I, I'm here for you and there's lots of people in chat that are here for you, so. Please let us know if we can do anything or if anything happened. Sending you love and hugs. That makes me very sad, I'm sorry. Sorry to be sorry to be bumming guys, but I I really love Courtney. She's one of the best. She's one of the greatest. So hope everything's okay. Um, but yeah, so we were talking about the 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 snake blood thing, and I don't remember what country it is. But yes, yeah, someone someone nailed it on the head. They said. I know what that is. The snake blood is a kind of superstitious, and it's said to give you protection. Yes, hello Jella. That's exactly what they were talking about and there's something else like if you're extra adventurous like you can just straight up eat the snake heart or something and like 
that's supposed to give you like godly power or something like that. Um, yeah, it's totally like I said, maybe a tour. I don't really know the. I'm not that familiar. It was just, the way it was put does sound pretty fucking cool if you're doing it for, like, you know, the badass spiritual aspect of it. But I, um, I wouldn't be able, I don't I don't think I'd be able to get over the fact that they're killing the snake right, you know, right in front of you. That fucks with me for sure. Um, and I mean, it is so gross, but it's definitely not as gross. I was pretty much just using it as an example with comparison for, um the coagulation you know the coagulation someone said they also take us oh star uh star dude 420 let's go what's up bro they also take a squid and cut the body off but leave the tentacles and the body dances before you eat it that's weird i've definitely seen um i definitely have seen uh, uh, like, meat do that. If you pour salt on, like, a fresh cut of meat, it'll dance. So, I think that's, like, a nerve response. It's still really freaking weird, though. I don't know why I said freaking. I've never I haven't said the word freaking in, like, ten years. We have so many in this patch. I'm gonna speed run this really quick. Courtney says... Feel alone with anxiety and stuff, so I'm just going into isolation mode to focus on myself to get better. It's not you guys, it's me, but I'll still watch you on TikTok. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I really do hope you get better, and if you need anything, we're always here for you. We love you greatly. And I understand. I think a lot of us here probably understand that feeling, so take your time. We're here when you when you want to come back. We'll miss ya. We'll miss ya. I'm trying to speed run this little patch here. A little motherfucking patch. Alright, I feel like we're actually making a bit of headway because we're creeping up the side. Finally! Finally, I felt like we were stuck in this bottom corner for so long, dude. Alright, when this patch is done, we're gonna switch it up to a different color. Hopefully something actually different, because I'm bored of the same middle blue color. Mid- mid blue, medium blue. Med blue. Yeah, I think I'll do this equal sign one. I don't think we've opened that yet. What is the equal? Oh, what? yes, we have. It's one. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do some. We'll do some equal sign. Let me just finish this patch. I see a few more. Oh man. You know what's annoying is I see another patch. I'm getting stuck. After this, I'm committing to moving on to a new color. The problem is, there's- I said this last time before we moved on, there's always, like, as soon as I'm like, okay, I'm- I'm narrowing in on the end of this, my eye sees, like, 47 of the- the letter. So many. So many! No! Oh, shit! Oh, no! I didn't realize I moved the whole table. Oh, my God. Ah! I moved the entire table and just popped the shit off. Yo, I got way too- I got way too into it. Okay, I think I can- I think I can catch this. There we go. Way too into it, y'all. Okay. We're about to move on. I just- I see, like- Two more!
All right, that's it. I'm over it. I'm over. I'm over this color. We're moving on. Okay, we're gonna go to equal sign, which is number one, and it's the one of the lightest colors. So, thank God, we get a little bit of a little bit of action here. Where did it go? Oh, okay. I hope they gave me, like, way more than I possibly need of every color, because I am really fucking clumsy, and I've definitely lost some of these. Okay, we're going to number one. Yo, I can't believe I'm on so late tonight. I'm sorry, everybody. I apologize that this is one of my later streams for sure. But uh, what are you going to do about it? Yeah, I had I spent a long time today working on a TikTok, probably longer than I should have spent, um, like a couple hours. I had so much footage. I don't know if you guys saw, but if you um, once you're done watching the stream, if you guys want to go over to my TikTok, that would mean the world. I've also got that linked in my description. Uh, yeah, like I said, the TikTok I posted today was a lot of fucking work. I filmed the entire process of setting up um, Seth's birthday party, which Luckily, we actually ended up having people come over, so, like, it wasn't just him and me that saw saw all my work. Um, and now you guys can see it, too. But, yeah, it's one of my most in-depth... Oh, shit. That was not supposed to happen. Definitely one of my most in-depth TikToks that I've ever done, and it's a lot of fun. So, if you would go check it out and give it a like and a comment. Me the world to your girl. What, what, is, the, what is the mayo discourse in the chat right now, y'all? You guys are cracking me up. What the fuck is going on? On that note, I love mayo for the record. Like, I would much rather put mayo on my fries than ketchup. That's for sure. Mayo is the greatest. And, um, for that, we thank you. All right, I'm gonna, this is to mayo, <laughs> apparently. I also, Stardude 420, cannot stand the Miracle Whip. It just tastes like sugar to me. It's just, it's not, it's not real mayo. I like the creamy, yeah. I was going to say gelatinous, but that sounds really disgusting. You know what I'm saying. Ooh, hell yeah. Barbecue and hot sauce for your fries? Chris Monster, what kind of psychopath are you? Barbe I mean, barbecue and fries is okay. If I have barbecue... For my, um, if I have barbecue for, like, my chicken nuggets, my, I can't think of McDonald's chicken nuggets. What are they called? McNuggets. Duh. <laughs> Fucking, if I have barbecue sauce for my McNuggets, a dip into the, into, with the fries into the barbecue here or there, sorry, not a frame, is doable. But that's not going to be my main sauce, you know what I'm saying? I do like ketchup for fries. That's that's definitely where ketchup si shines more than anything. This is with fries. Okay, we're on equal sign. Luckily, we got a fair amount of equal signs here. Mayo chop. Oh my god, you guys! I think I've said this in a in a stream before. Oh wait, it was over here. I think I've said this in a stream before, but for some, there's this item in the in the supermarket that it popped up several years ago, and now I see it every time I go to the store, um, and it makes me laugh so hard because it's the most American fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. And if I have anyone from the UK in here, I really would like to know, like, if you have this in your American section or just maybe like in your regular section at all. But we have something. At least down here in the good old boy state of Florida, we got something called Cranch. What? Yeah, Cranch. Ketchup and ranch sold together, mixed into one bottle. It's like this pale pink, disgusting color. And every time I see the Cranch, I just, I don't know, I have to laugh. It's just, it's so violently American. I mean, what other country would come up with that? I freaking love ch McDonald's chicken nuggets. Yes, dude, Sam, they're really honestly the best. And I know they're not actually chicken nuggets. I know they're just like goop 
goop molds, but I love the goop mold. It's delicious. It's a great vessel for sauce. We're blasting through this, and you know why? I think because I like the color more than the last two colors. The morale has risen. The morale has risen. Okay, this is a boom, and then I think this is a boom. No. Can't tell where these are supposed to go, so I'm, yeah, there we go. That looks correct. That looks correct. Yeah, as I go, as I close into some of these, um, some of these spots, like, it's really hard to get them in. I'm gonna have to shove it in. And yes, Cranch is violently American, Corny. It's literally 100%. It's like when they used to sell peanut butter and jelly mixed together. Journey, like, at least I could appreciate the innovation, the innovation there, because, like, those are two things that, like, iconically go together. Like, every... At least, I mean, maybe correct me if I'm wrong, I would say every American and probably most European households have peanut butter and jelly at some point in time, especially if they have kids. And those go together with each other almost exclusively every time. So, like, that makes sense. They're just trying to make life a little easier. But the crunch is just like, who makes it? Is there anyone in chat who actually mixes those two things together? Like, please, I'd like to know. Is there someone who's like, Fuck yeah. Ketchup and ranch just, like, stirred together. Ketchup and mayo. Now that's pink sauce. And that shit, fucking next level. That is top-tier sausage. I meant, like, sauce. <laughs> you know what I meant. <laughs> Not sausage, but, like, sauce. Sausage. <laughs> the weed is at it again. Sorry, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get my dab around point here. It's giving me a little bit of a hard time. Man, we flew through that. That was really fast. Okay. We gotta move on to the next thing now. Alright, let's do some slashes. Slash is 24, which I believe I have not opened yet, so that's exciting news. Shit. Shit. I need a little, I need a little baggy, a little dime bag. Yeah, this is what they give you. <laughs> Shannon, no, the pink sauce controversy. Okay, oh, so I'm actually not even referring to that. I've never had that shit that the pink sauce lady you know, was shilling that was, like, killing people on TikTok or whatever. There is this restaurant that I have... Well, okay. So, when I was... When I was a young teen... When I was a young teen... My friend's brother took me to this food truck in a really shitty part of town. He said, Shanwen, you try this. You'll love it. This burger's so delicious. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm lost. Anyways, so this fucking, there's this food truck in a really, really sketchy part of town that was, like, only open after midnight, and my friend's brother took me there, um, and he was literally like, this is the best burger you're ever gonna fucking have, and sure enough, you know, long story short, it was, um, and it was just this tiny, dumpy, shitty little food truck that was open after midnight in this random parking lot in a sketchy part of town, um, and it was so amazing, and thank God, luckily, they franchised into, like, I think they have, like, four or five locations in Florida that I know of. I have no idea if they exist outside of Florida. Um, I mean, there's a bunch, so I'm not really doxing myself, uh, but it's called Junior Columbian Burger, and when they, I mean, it's not quite as good as it was in that shitty-ass food truck, but that shit still slaps. I actually got it yesterday. And they have something called pink sauce that is, like, a secret ingredient plus mayo and ketchup mixed together for their fries. And, oh, my God, it hits. Random part of town food is the shit. Yes, it is, dude. When you find, like, a hole in the wall, like, it just the usually trashy places... I'm sorry, I don't want to call it trashy, but, like, places that have, like, the worst decor. I can't rip this for my life. 
no decor, a little bit dirty or dingy. Like that food usually slaps. It's made by someone's grandpa or grandma in the back, like who's just like short order cooking their home recipes. I can't fucking get this. Um, yeah, that shit is bomb. I ate that when I was there, dude. It's. Did you like it? I hope you got just like their. It's called a junior burger. Just like their burger. That shit is so good. The reason it's so good. Hold on, I'm looking to see if I have scissors. Apparently, I don't. You're great. You love that. And why can I not rip this perforated plastic? Um. Yeah, the reason the burger is so goddamn good is it's not your average burger. No, no, no. It is, uh, it's a, whatever they put in the burger, however they season it, is fucking bomb. You know, it's Colombian spices, I guess. <laughs> they got some special Colombian spice in there. Um, <laughs> uh, but then they also put the pink sauce, they put this pineapple sauce on it, this kelp, the kelp chips, I believe it is. This, like, amazing cheese. Dude, the shit fucking slaps. It's just, like, next level burger. There we go. I finally got it after all that time. Okay. So we're gonna go... Oh, shit. I forgot to put this back. Yo, I'm so glad someone knows what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure it might. it's just a Florida thing, but if anyone ever comes to Florida, that's, like, a cheap place. I de definitely suggest to go... The one that I grew up going to, like, it has an extra special charm because I believe it was the first one to open after the food truck, which means it's the shittiest one um, of all of the chains. And there's always these, like, three Colombian dudes who are sitting out front smoking cigars and, like, it's just, I don't know, it's got a lot of character, man. It's, it's, a, it's a trip of a place for sure. There's, like, a hallway to sit in. Like, you know, there's nowhere to sit. There's just a fucking hallway with chairs and, like, I mean, if you're any bigger than me, like, you won't even fit in the hallway. I don't really know what the game plan was there. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's wild. I definitely suggest it. It's an interesting place. All right, we're going, we're going in with, what color is this? This is 24, also known as Slash. Great. Shannon, my husband thought the Sims version of Peanut was so funny. Dude, I thought that shit was so funny. I had myself dying about Peanut so bad. Um, if anyone doesn't know what we're talking about, the last stream that we did, we played The Sims, and Sam sent me a picture of her pug named Peanut to make into a human being somehow. And uh, we, we did our best. If I wasn't using my phone to show you the... Um, to show you the diamond painting I would show you, but I really recommend watching our last stream, especially the last half of it, if you haven't um, already seen it, because that shit is so fucking funny. Like, the sim we made is so horrifying. Truly just, like, a freak of nature. 100%. <laughs> Although I was a little bit bummed when you guys sent it in the Discord, uh, sent pictures of it, I realized that I totally forgot to make his lips black, which I feel like was definitely an oversight on my part, but it was still so fucking funny. Honestly, hold on. Let me see. Let me see if I can, if I can pull it up. The Sims version of Pino was hilarious. I was dying. Yes, we made me and Allie too, which was really fun. But this, I feel like Pina had like took the cake for sure. Hold on. I'll pull up my, uh, pull up my own last video. Oh, whatever. Just, just uh, it's fine. Just go watch it, you guys. I, you will really enjoy it. It's worth watching. It's funny as fuck. I had a fun time. It was a really good time. Okay, let's blast through this. It is getting pretty late for me too. I see everyone is is dropping like flies, going to bed, and I totally understand. It's like ten twenty, and my stomach's been growling since we started the stream. I think since like the second hit that I took, second or third. Which, speaking of, let's take another one, because why the fuck not? Let's go. Um, but yeah, like, we'll, we'll blast through this color after this, the slashes. Um, but for now, we've still got a few, a little bit left. A tiny bit of greens in the corner, so we're good to go. Let's go!
Speaking of pugs, I feel like I kind of look like a pug when I smoke, which is which is fine. We love that for me. It's only 8 p.m. for me. Well, I am jealous, dude. I wish I had more time in my day. Like I said, I spent so long editing that fucking... I really did not anticipate spending that long editing it, but I, I had two hours of footage from from doing Seth's birthday surprise, and I had to turn that into... I was trying to make it a minute, but I ended up making it two minutes is the best I could do. Um, but I think I think it was... It turned out fun, though. You guys should definitely go watch it. Yo, there's a lot of slashes here, yo. Yo, yo. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. So us, so us, so us. This blue, yo. That was really bad. Oh, shit. I love pugs. They're so snorty. Yes, they are. Dude, and Peanut is my new favorite pug, for sure. We made this sim so deranged. Oh, yeah. Shit, I think- Oh, wait, okay, I see another patch. Okay, so I finished that patch of the slashes, I'm pretty sure. The hash-slinging slashes. We've got more, uh, more down here, though. These guys right here, the moth tail, are slashes, too. Sam said, speaking of pugs, I think I look like a pug when I smoke. What? I do! Okay, here, I'll just show you. I think, I think I can hit this again without just getting straight ash. Although we are coming to the end here, and my tailbone is starting to hurt, despite me getting higher and higher. Yeah. Um, here, watch. It's my upper lip, so I do have, like, I mean, I did it almost, like, two years ago, probably actually closer to three years ago now, so it's almost all gone. Um, I had upper lip, fill well, I had lip filler done. This is mostly my natural lip, though, but I feel like when I smoke, I push my lip down, and it gets super thin, and I just, I don't know, I look like a pug. Are you ready? You do not look like a pug? I'm telling you. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? In retrospect, I really didn't need to actually hit it again. I could have straight up just picked it up and pressed it to my face. <laughs> but that's the that's the weed talking. You don't see that? Come on. I don't want it again. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Leave me alone, you guys. I'm doing my best here. I feel like I do. Okay. Whatever. Cause I'm seeing shit the rest of the world isn't seeing. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna do this. I'm gonna speed run this line and I think I think I'm gonna have to call it call it for numerous reasons. A I'm delirious. B what the fuck is wrong with my tailbone? Oh shit, I'm not even oh my god, I'm so stupid. I'm not even showing you guys. Frustration. Also, this is pissing me off. Everything's pissing me off right now. This is the opposite of the vibes we're going for. So, you don't look like a pu okay. You know what? Whatever. I have a Frenchie, and they're like, oh, okay, Savannah. I thought you were saying I look like a Frenchie for a second. I was like, see, thank you. I look like a pug or a Frenchie or something when I when I smoke with a the bowl. Whatever. Alright. Alright, that's it. I'm calling it. I feel like we made some decent headway. I know it's not what you guys, like, want to see. I know everyone would prefer that, like, we blasted through half of this thing, but we are beyond the point of just being in the court. Well, yeah, we are. We're beyond the point of just being in the corner at this point. 
fuck out of here. Where are you? There we go. There was a there was a loose one. Oops. I think my phone died. Or something. Either way, we're beyond we're beyond just the corner. Let's see, let's lift her up. Make sure everything's stuck. Yeah. Oh, I mean, okay, without the plastic on it, it definitely looks shinier for sure. You've gotten a lot of it done, actually. I feel like we did make, for only being live for an hour and how much I run my mouth, I definitely feel like we did a decent chunk today. Because, like, we're starting to creep up into the upper hemisphere of things. You know what I'm saying? It's not... We're not just stuck in that bottom part. So, that being said, I probably will work on this a little bit more on my own. Like, watching TV or something, assuming I get some time to chill and just do my do my own thing i don't know what the fuck i was gonna sing there but yeah assuming i get some time to chill and do my own thing i'll i'll do some work on that before i come back next time um just so you guys can feel a little bit more accomplished and so can i but i will be live again tomorrow on tiktok i'm holding myself to that i haven't been live on tiktok in over a week now and that feels bad man i definitely miss tiktok so Make sure you're following me over there. Like I said, go check out that TikTok I just made. I spent a lot of work on it today, and it would mean a lot if you would like and comment. It helps me with the algorithm over there, and honestly, TikTok's kind of becoming my new home. We have a lot bigger, um, I, I would say, like, you guys are definitely my OGs. Like, you guys are my most connected. I am definitely the closest with you guys here on YouTube, but there is a lot bigger group of people that comes through the TikTok, like, usually. Last time I had, like, 100 to 200 people the entire time, which was really fun. It's really high energy. Um, this is a little more, like, personal with you guys, I feel like. You know, over there, it's a lot, a lot more, like, I'm on, if that makes any sense. Like, my, my, I don't want to say my persona because I'm the same person, but, like, I'm, I'm my best foot is forward on TikTok. We're going, and we're going, and everything's fast and loud, and we have music and shit like that. It's a lot of fun, and there's a lot of people and a lot of questions, and so make sure you're following me over there. Go like and, go like and comment on that recent TikTok. It'll mean the world to me. Um, is your TikTok just, hey there, I'm Shannon? Yes, it's on the screen. I don't know if you see in the bottom bottom left but it is the one in the very far bottom left it's hey there i'm shan i'm sure if you look up hey there i'm shannon you'll be able to um find it that way as well but it's becoming my main platform so go check me out over there other than that uh i will talk to you guys in the discord and i'll see you there tomorrow I'm trying to fucking get this shit in the tiny ass bag thanks for hanging out it was a lot of fun i appreciate you guys i always enjoy these these chill ass streams very chill, kind of wind my night down. I'm gonna go eat that leftover shrimp scampi, although all of the talk of food tonight has made me fucking starving, so I'm gonna be sad. I'm gonna live vicariously through you guys. Hopefully you guys are getting some good-ass food tonight. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a good night. Talk to you soon. I already said that. I'm going in circles here. Bye! <laughs> have a good night, everybody. I'll see you soon.